Welcome back. I'm Kevin McNulty. It was a huge night for girls high school basketball, especially the two Marquette County teams still standing in the state quarterfinal round. Let's start tonight in Gladstone, where Ishpeming met up with St. Ignace. Of course, a trip to the Breslin Center on the line. The Hematites entered this one with a near flawless record of 25 and 1. The Saints coming in at 18 and 7 once again, playing their best basketball in March. Also playing her best basketball in March, Jenna Mackey. The Ishpeming senior with the steal and transition layup here. The Hematites lead 14 to 7 in the first. If you wanted transition layups tonight, Ishpeming had you covered. Maya Hammer all the way to the hole. Look at that up and under move to make it a 13 point Hematite lead in the second. But St. Ignace made it to this round for a reason, and Jillian Fraser was a big part of it. The junior with the kiss off the glass that time, and the Saints keep hanging around. Now, Ishpeming head coach Ryan Riekel kept the intensity up. His squad took a 17-point lead in the halftime, then out of the break, more Mackey. We want more Mackey for crying out loud with the Euro step that time. And the Hematites have a 19-point advantage with under two to play in the third. Mackey had 20 to lead Ishpeming, Genesa Eagle, and Hammer also in double figures. As the Hematites stop the Saints from marching, your final score in this one, 65-45 Ishpeming is going to East Lansing. Jenna Mackey, how have you kept your competitive edge throughout your dominant postseason run? Honestly, I don't think we're all looking at the scoreboard that much. I think we're just go, go, go the whole game until that final buzzer. So, yeah, I think we're just all pushing 100% the whole time. We, we, we hope we can represent what St. Louis has done, what Berger has done, and uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm real excited. Uh, this is a, a phenomenal experience. You know when you get below the bridge in this community, in this in the UP, you get a whole, a whole bunch of fans, and uh, we're going to have people helping us along the way, and, uh, you know, UP power, and, and I'm excited. I'm excited to chant that tomorrow uh, when we get on the bus. UP power, UP power. Chant it loud, Ryan Riekel. The Hematites are moving on, and who will they play? Let's check out the other D4 state quarterfinal. That sets up their matchup. Fowler. Over Menden tonight, final score there, 51 to 32. And let's take a look at what's on deck for Thursday. Ishpeming and Fowler going at it at 5.30 p.m. there at the Breslin Center. Should be a good one, a spot, of course, in the state final Saturday on the line. Let's head east to Sault Ste. Marie, the site of the Division II state quarterfinal and the Nagani student section came out in droves for their minors, Ella Mason and the minors ready to go with a standout Kendall Smith on the other side of Flint Powers Catholic. First quarter here, Smith drives for the Chargers, count it, and one hand in the cookie jar that time. Nagani still leads it 6-4 early on. Chargers again this time, Smith in transition with the rainbow three straight through. Chargers take a 10-8 lead. Now Nagani coming the other way, Gretel Johnson underneath. To Kira Waterman, freshman of freshman that time, and one for Waterman. It's 15 13. Nagani late in the second quarter. Waterman drives and kicks to Grace Nardi. That shot falls for the Miners. They take a one point lead in the halftime. Third quarter now. Callie Ryla finds Ella Mason across court. It's 30 to 27. Miners. Then Mason returns the favor. Ryla for three. Got it. Big time. It's 33. 31, Nagani. Fourth quarter now. Chargers with the steal, and Kyleen Bradaw puts that one in. It's a three-point game. Now, this game really decided at the free-throw line. Mason up to the task. She sank many in the final minutes. As the buzzer sounded in the fourth, the Miners. Well, they're headed to East Lansing, too. 50 to 45. Listen to that roar as Mike O'Donnell and his team moves on. Here's O'Donnell after the game. That's a, it's a pretty awesome feeling. Um, you know, we we knew this was going to be a war. Anytime you get to this point, it's going to be just it's it's going to be this atmosphere. It's going to come down to the taking care of the ball, free throws, um, and you know we we did just enough. You know, my past few games I've been struggling like shooting wise and stuff, and I was like, I need to help my team out, and I mentally I prepared. And I was just like, I need to help my team out to win this game tonight. I'm just so happy. I mean, that was a heck of a game, and we fought and been fighting all year, and I'm just so happy that we get to make history because the girls have never been to the Brad, so I'm so happy that we get to do that. So. 
Ella Mason been leading the minors all year. She does it again tonight. And then Callie Ryla adding in 16 points. A huge night for her. Who will the minors be taking on? That other game in D2 tonight. Detroit Edison over Goodrich. Final score 50 to 33 in the quarterfinal. And that sets up the semifinal on Friday for the minors in D2. It's Nagani and Detroit Edison going at it at the Breslin Center.